So this uh, lesson is going to be working with stoichiometry problems where you're going from grams of one known substance to grams of an unknown substance that uh, has been either produced or is required in a chemical equation or a chemical reaction. So in this case, we have grams of propane that we've burned. Um, as always, any sort of stoichiometry problem, you need to create a chemical equation. And because we know that any burning uh, is considered a combustion reaction, propane, which is C3H8, will react with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and produce water. And if I balance that equation, this is then how it would accurately be balanced. Now, this balanced equation, remember, is key for our mole-to-mole -mole conversion, all right? The next part um, in these stoichiometry problems is identifying your known and what uh, material we have. And you're always looking for the number in the actual um, question. So in this case, my number is dealing with water. Water is my known. It uh, is giving me the grams of water. So in that case, I am having the starting point be grams A. That's the starting point being right over here. And then I want to find my unknown. And my unknown is propane. So that is my B substance. That's my unknown. And for that one, I'm looking for grams. So my end point is here. That means that I need to follow this whole flow chart in order to get my answer. So keeping in mind from this flow chart, the flow chart never changes. But where you start on the flow chart does based on the problem. Remember, changing um, anything from grams to moles, such as in here, or moles to grams, you're going to be using the periodic table so that you can uh, determine the molar mass. From going from moles to moles, you're going to use this chemical equation. So let's work through the first step. So my first step on this flow chart tells me I need to get from grams A to mole A, and as I have uh, noted here, remember, to get from grams to moles, we need to use the periodic table. So A being water. So let's take a look. I know that one mole of water, and you always use one mole, has a molar mass of 18 grams of water. How did I determine that? Well, I look at the periodic table, and I look at my chemical formula. I know I have two moles of hydrogen. Each of those is 1.01 grams, so I multiply that by two. I have one mole of oxygen. That's going to be 16 grams, and it's only multiplied by one. So if I add all these up, it works out to be about 18 grams. So we'll stick with the 18 versus 18.1. Next, I create my tiles where because these are equal to each other, I can place them into a fraction. And so I will do all the possible versions. There are always only two, in which case I have this as an option or this as one. OK, so next what is going to be happening, I can now have all the tools I need for my grams to moles. I'm not going to do the actual conversion yet. I'm going to get set up for my next uh, conversion. And that's going from mole A to mole B. OK, keep in mind I know mole A is my water. So here's where I look at the chemical equation. So I look at water. I know that it takes four moles of H2O. And how did I get that four? Right here, OK? Four moles of water are produced when you burn one mole of propane. So that's my B, one mole of C3H8. How did I get that number? Well, there's no number here. We assume it's a one. And again, I create tiles for this here, which I can then later on use. So these are the possible combinations. All right. So now I have all the tools. Oh, 
Oops, pardon me, I still need one more tool. And that is this right here, getting from mole B to gram B. So that's my third set of tools I need. So mole B to gram B. And in this case, I know that um, the material B is, again, propane. I always start with one mole of C3H8 works out to be, if I look in my periodic table and do my calculations, about 44.08 grams of C3H8. So how did I get that? I took three carbons times 12, because that's its molar mass, and added eight hydrogens, which each have a mass of 1.01. .01. So I create tiles for this one one mole C3H8 over 44.08 grams of C3H8. The other option is 44.08 grams of C3H8 over one mole of C3H8. And I can choose either one. So I've got all the tiles that I could possibly need. So now let's work through the problems. Essentially, you're going to take the first step, which is writing what we have, 0 0.56 grams of H2O. All right. So we are now going to take this step here using these tiles. We need to get from grams to moles. So I multiply it. And now I need to choose which of these fractions I want to use. Keep in mind if I have grams on top here, I want to get grams on the bottom over here. And so this is the appropriate tile. So 18 grams H2O over one mole of H2O. That means the grams cancel out and the hydrogen cancels out. So I've taken my first step. Now I need to take my second step, going from moles to moles. So I have on top here one mole of water. So mole of water is on top. So which tiles of these am I going to use to cancel that out? I'm going to make sure that my moles of water are on the bottom. And my apologies, you notice that I made a mistake here. This should be a four. So four moles of H2O over one mole of C3H8. Okay, so now we've taken this step. The last step is the grams, mold to grams, but let me first cancel these out so I can keep track of where we are. So right now I just have moles of C3H8. So that tells me that using this last set of tiles, I need to make sure moles of C3 I need to make certain that those uh, C3H8 are on the bottom. So in that case, I would use this one, one mole of C3H8. And that works out to be 44.08 grams of C3H8. And those cancel out. So what I'm mathematically going to do is I'm going to take and I'll just change the color to make it easier for you to see. I'm going to multiply 0 0.56 times 1, times 1, I'm just multiplying the top, times 44.08 grams. Then I'm going to push the equal sign on my calculator. And then I'm going to divide it by 18 times 4 times 1 and my answer should work out to be 0 0.343 grams of C3H8.